The task is not quite finished. There are about $42 million worth of post-closure projects that still need to get done. And of primary concern to Judge Gatewood is how to pay for them. Gov Guam's plan is to refinance existing debt and borrow more money. Longtime Utilities Board member Simon Sanchez, who was asked by the AG to review the plan, appeared before the Guam Solid Waste Authority Board today to support it. The government is able to refinance that 2009 loan. They would extend it out just two more years, and that's what creates your $42 million. But in the, in the next eight years, through the refinancing, they actually get to save about $56 million in debt service. But in its court filing, federal receiver Gershman, Brickner, and Bratton described GovGuam's plan as speculative, with no guarantee that the refinance will produce the additional capital needed. The receiver's plan sets aside $4.5 million in annual net income over the next few years to cover the $42 million. But Sanchez contends that's unfair to current ratepayers and violates basic principles of rate setting. And the general rule is, if you benefit from this cost, then you should help pay for this cost. The GBB plan says that, well, even though the benefits of ORDOT are going to last 20 or 30 years, I just want the next eight years of ratepayers to pay for it. It's kind of like our kids coming in and saying, hey, mom and dad, I know you got a 30-year mortgage, but can you pay off the house in 10 years so I can have it for free? The receiver counters that there is no guarantee that GovGuam won't use the GSWA revenue set aside for other purposes and points to GovGuam's history of doing so. Meanwhile, the two are also at odds over the transition timeline as the government seeks a much quicker turnover. GovGuam lost control after years of failing to close ORDOT. The federal government stepped in to force compliance with U.S. environmental laws. The often contentious decades-long saga comes to an end of sorts next week. Federal Court Judge Francis Tadinko Gatewood wants one last tour of ORDOT on Monday and has ordered a host of top GovGuam officials to join her. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lecanto.